welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews. We take a look at one of my favorite games based on the Marvel Universe with X-Men Origins Wolverine Uncaged Edition. Just off the heels of watching Deadpool and Wolverine, I was super excited to see if there was going to be any video games that can compare to the mayhem that Wolverine had in this film. Once again, I had to think back to my old 360 days. Growing up reading Marvel's X-Men, one of my favorite characters of all time was Wolverine, and I had my fair share of bad video games from the X-Men on the 8-bit Nintendo to X-Men on the Sega Genesis. It wasn't until Capcom took the reins with their fighting game series that I gave it a chance again, but those were just fighting games. Enter X-Men Origins Wolverine Uncaged Edition that was based on the popular film released by Fox. Not saying that the source material was the best ever, but this game promised so much more that fans wanted from the claw-wielding mutant hero that gave us a mature rating for the violence seen in the comics. X-Men Origins Wolverine Uncaged Edition was developed by Raven Software and published by Activision for the PlayStation 3, Windows PC, and for the Xbox 360 in 2009. This version of the game was an action-adventure based on the film with the same name. Released on virtually almost every console at the time, the Uncaged Edition received an M rating for Mature for its uncensored graphic violence of the natural use of Wolverine's abilities with his razor-sharp claws. All other consoles received a tamed 10 plus for everyone to coincide with the PG-13 film. With Blur Studios handling the CGI cinematics and even having Hugh Jackman reprise his role of Wolverine with his voice, the game was primed to be a big hit for fans. They even added more characters like Sentinels and Mystique from the Marvel Universe that weren't originally in the film to add more authentic comic book experience. Due to a licensing deal with Marvel expiring, this was the final Wolverine game to be published by Activision and is currently delisted and removed from all digital storefronts. The story is a backstory that explores the original plot of the film as Wolverine ventures back and forth from his past to present and how it led him to becoming the Wolverine. There was a lot of back and forth that would be later explained in detail on how it affected Wolverine and does its best but at times loses focus on how much the developers try to cram into this game. She's rescuing you. You know she's still alive. Right, who do I have to gut to get some explanations here? No one. I promised you answers and I make good on my promises. The gameplay is the absolute best part of the game and it's the reason why you buy it, with the best portrayal of Wolverine in combat to date. With all the extra moves and special abilities at your disposal, Wolverine is pretty much quite unstoppable, and definitely feels that way throughout the game. Only times that I actually had any difficulty and died were in glitches and platforming and camera issues. The pure joy in slashing your way through enemies never gets old and also delivers on the style that the comic books hold over the films. visuals here are a mixed bag for me. I felt that Wolverine looked and animated fantastic, but everything else was a step down. It is fine the way it is, but it does not age well looking back today. 
since my only copy was on the Xbox 360 with no backwards compatibility. The game moves rough at times with some low frame rates here and there, but you do get used to it. The design of the game is fine, but with added puzzles to add to your tasks and does take you out of the action quite a bit and does become very repetitive. The overall design with environmental kills do add a lot of cool style that the developers were striving for. Overall, the game is an excellent design action romp with Wolverine like you have never experienced before and still haven't in my book. The overpowered Wolverine is knocked down by basically everything else from the subpar visuals, repetitive puzzles, and some oddly designed levels. Even with all that, X-Men Origins Wolverine Uncaged Edition is still a must play for its fantastic take on the brutality and combat Wolverine is known for. Even with all its faults, I still will never get rid of my copy and is still dear to my heart as the one game that really gets the humor right. That's it for this retrospective look at X-Men Origins Wolverine. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Be ho out and great. Take us out of here and I will see you all next upload. Uh.